Man, what did I do before having this desk? I don't even get any work done. Huh. Hi, how's it going? Thanks for checking out the video. My name is Lucas, and this is my fully Jarvis laminate standing desk review. Now I've had this desk for about six months, and today I just want to share my thoughts on, you know, what I think about the desk, why I chose the desk, and also how it's increasing my productivity, and giving me the freedom and flexibility in my day-to-day -day activities. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I've been working from home for the last five years, and during this time, I've been mainly working on the Bacant desk from IKEA, um, the traditional normal desk. But when the pandemic hit, I realised I would be spending a lot more time at home than before. And I wanted the flexibility of being able to not only sit at my desk, but also stand when I wanted a different working perspective. So I started to do a bunch of research, including watching many YouTube videos about standing desks, and looking at the options from a number of manufacturers, including Uplift, Autonomous and Ergonofist, to name a few. However, these are based in either the US or Canada, so there would be not only additional shipping costs, but also longer lead times, due to the increased demand that I was seeing as more people were now working from home. But then I discovered this company called Fully, based out of Portland, Oregon, and I really liked what they were offering, and also their price point was appealing. So as I carried out more research, I also discovered they had a European base in Belgium, so the chances of them shipping to me in the UK were much greater. Now the ordering process was seamless, with you being able to design and customise your desk to your particular requirements. So I logged onto fully.com and started to design my desk. Since I was based in the UK, I switched to their UK specific site. Now I could have gone with a standard bamboo desk, as that seems to be the go-to for tech YouTubers. However, I wanted something different, which would not only look visually appealing, but give a good contrast against the white walls in my office. I chose the laminate desk in the black top finish. Now for the desk size, when I had my IKEA Bicant desk, I went for the largest size, which at the time was 160cm by 80cm, and with three monitors this proved quite challenging, and did not leave me with much free desk space. When I saw that fully had the option of 180cm by 80cm, this was the obvious choice. This, however, was an additional £150, but for the 20 centimetres gain in desk space, this was worth it in my opinion. The desk comes with grommets as standard in Europe, which was an essential for me as I wanted the desk holders for cable management, as my plan was to have the desk as close to the wall, and therefore the feasibility of sending cables down the back of the desk was not easily possible. I did, however, select an additional power grommet with a UK plug during the ordering process at an extra cost of £35. However, this item was delayed and did not ship with the desks, so in the end I decided to remove this from the original order. With the Jarvis frame itself, I wanted to again stand out, so I went with the alloy finish, which was an additional £20. For the desk height, I chose the extended range, as I am 6 foot 6, so I needed the desk to be able to go to a high level in order to meet my needs. The extended range is from 64.2cm to 129cm, and this again was an extra £20, but essential. I went with the programmable memory handset, as this was only £20 extra and provided more functionality. However, if you are not concerned about preset options, you could opt for the standard up-down switch. In terms of power and wire management, I went with the wire management kit, which comes with two cable management trays, some cable ties and adhesive clips, which attach to the desk along with a surge protector. This was an extra £35, and I chose black to go with a desk theme and obviously the UK for the plug. Fully don't just sell desks however, they also sell a wide range of chairs, but I didn't select a chair on this occasion. I did however select the MUV mat from a company called Eris, which is an anti-fatigue mat, and when you are standing on it the surface of the mat has peaks and valleys that stimulate the feet and encourage the subtle movement needed to keep your body energised. I must say this did sound a bit gimmicky at first, but having used the mat it does really make you move around, which is key, so you don't get stiffness while standing. I actually use it all the time when I'm standing, and it allows me to subtly move without being too intrusive. I would highly recommend this mat, although this did set me back an additional £109, but since using it, in my opinion, it's totally worth the money. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a review about the Muv mat in a future video. Fully also do monitor arms and space savers, however I did not choose these, as they did not have an option for three monitors. I also did not want to desk drawers, I felt this could get in the way. Lastly, you also have the option of adding additional extras, such as a filing cabinet, desk hooks, and even a bottle opener. However, I did not select these. About a week after I placed my order, several boxes showed up and then began the fun task of assembling the desk. Here you can see the desk and all components 
and now we get into the build process. Oh, and here's a cameo of my daughter, who also wanted to help. All in all, it took a couple of hours to assemble, but that is because I took breaks and had to stop a few times. So in theory, it could well take you less time. After assembling the desk, you have to initially calibrate it, which is explained in the instructions. However, when I lowered the desk to its lowest height, for some reason it got stuck. So I had to wait some time for the desk to reset itself. But for around 15 minutes, I thought the desk was broken, which was an unsettling feeling, but fortunately all was okay. As mentioned, I opted for the programmable handset, which means you have your standard up-down functionality, but also four additional preset buttons for your desired desk height. I have my high desk setting set to one and my low setting to two, but there are some occasions when I may have to use the manual up and down buttons. For additional functionality, you hold down the M button and then you are taken into the different menu options, which include locking or unlocking the desk, setting the max height, and the min height, changing the units, so centimeters versus inches, anti-collision, as well as screen and button brightness. Having the programmable handset has been a great decision in hindsight, especially with the growth of my daughter and her constant need to grab things from my desk. All I need to do now is raise the desk out of her reach and she has to find something else to grab. So if you have small children, this is ideal. So six months on, what are my thoughts? I simply love this desk. It has increased my productivity greatly and I use it daily in both the seated and standing position. I love the flexibility this provides. I doubt I will ever go back to a normal desk again. So if you're looking for an electric standing desk for your home office, I can only recommend the fully Jarvis standing desk, be it in a laminate design or another design that Fully offer. So yeah, head over to fully.com and start customizing your desk. So let me know in the comments, do you have a standing desk? What do you think of your desk? Is it from Fully or a different manufacturer? I'm curious to see what other people are using. So thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you saw, please click like and subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content, as well as follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LucasWin. So thanks again and see you on the next one.